Welcome to Aerial Cooler, guys. I'm Ken Berryman from Lindale, retired. What we're going to do today is go out here, do some capture, control, and isolations, lay a little foam, shoot a little dry chem, and get y'all some a little more hands-on, get you working the butter as a team. On this project, we'll have two fuels, we'll have LPG and gasoline. As an overview, some of the things, whoever the uh, IC is, some of the things you need to ask are what? Isolation. Isolation. Is there any remotes? Everybody accounted for? Yeah. All right. What's the wind direction? What are we burning? Right. All right. Do I have any electrical issues? There's, there's a bunch of questions you can ask. But is everybody accounted for? That's number one. Because as soon as that fire lights off, whoever that IC is probably needs to tell whoever's his fixed monitor operator and spotter to get out there and get some cooling on that project. And as soon as I got cooling going, what goes next? My rig team, right? We're here to, we're here to, the heck with the unit, I can replace it. But I gotta get these guys some coverage. So get that big monitor going, give us some cooling, and then my RIT team can go in and get operator, firefighter, whatever we got missing, get them out. And, get them. and when they do that, you need to, whoever's on that RIT team, you need to come back and communicate that to your commander, whoever that person may be, so that we can get an ambulance in here to pick them up. Your RIT team, definition of a RIT team is for who? Emergency response, right? But if I got an operator laying beside him, all right, grab them up both guys. What we're going to fight today on this project, this front fin fan cooler up here, the tubes are blown out it and it's LPG gas hitting the ground. All right, what we're going to do is use that fixed monitor right over here in the corner. With that monitor and a spotter, we're going to capture all that fire underneath that aerial cooler in a good power cone. Take all the heat out the back. All right, and that's how we're going to control that fire. Right below it is two pumps. The pump closest to us has got a major pump case leak on it. We can set a blitz up right back up here, go to the monitor. We can capture that LPG coming out of there. There's a flange on the pump right behind it, on the discharge side, that has a gasket leak with the LPG. That blitz, we do not want to blow the fire out with a fixed monitor or a blitz, or a hand line. Put a pattern on it, tighten it up a little bit, get capture and control, shove the heat out the back. Once this aerial cooler is under control and extinguished, this pump casing, hose lines one and two will move in. I need suction and discharge valve closed on that pump. The pump right behind it has a gasket leak. I need the discharge valve on that pump isolated. At the same time, you have a dry chem and a foam line over here. Dry chem as we need, we'll holler for you. Foam. You'll be laying a little foam in here because right over here is a flange, orifice flange. It's got gasoline coming out of it, hitting the ground. That's on fire. Once we get control of the aerial cooler, the pumps, as soon as we can release the blitz, the blitz is going to set up and let them capture that flange back here. So hose line one and two, all you have to do is just kind of if there's anything it's not capturing, we'll mop up what they've got. And we've got to go in and make two blocks, one upstream, one downstream. And fire's in the middle, we'll take all that fire out the back. If we need to, we'll come in there with a little dry chem, just do a little mop up. We'll go in there and make the, make the two isolations. Is there any questions on that? All right, as I see, you also need to know a few other things. What all do we need? On this project, 
We'll have a blitz tied up over on this end, on his stub ups. We'll have one hand line and a foam line on the next one. Another hand line on the other one. That way you got separate water supplies for lines one and two. Line one, come off that third monitor over, fourth monitor over. We need 150 foot, an inch and three quarter with a turbojet nozzle set on 125 GPM. All right, line two, the same thing. Line two will also be wide off right there at the foam line. All right, your foam line, 100 foot, of inch and three quarter, 95 GPM inductor with a turbojet nozzle set on 95 GPM. We'll be using microblaze foam at 1%. Dry chem person. Take your dry chem, come over the deck, talk it, verbalize it, charge it. Do not charge that extinguisher if you've got the top or the bottom pointing at you or anybody else. Alright, it's a piece of mechanical equipment. Alright, things break.